dear students in this video we will go through the process of updating students information in the rcu admission portal in order to update your information you need to register into the portal the college office staff will create a entry by entering your basic information like mobile number name and the caste the mobile number you need to use the one which you have been given at the time of registration please do not use your parents mobile number because you would be requiring this mobile number throughout the sixth semester in order to access the university students portal you will receive an sms and in that sms you will get an link in order to create the registration the link of the admission portal is university solutions dot in slash rcub slash adm slash index dot html once you type the url on the web browser it will take you through the this particular application you may see at the bottom left corner there is a link for registration click on the registration the state karnataka and the university college Rani Chandma University Belagavi will be auto updated. In the third field, enter your mobile number. This is the mobile number which you have given at the time of registration or taking the ad admission to the college. Once you enter the valid registered mobile number, click on validate and send OTP button. once you clicked on that you will receive an otp to the registered mobile number you may notice there the name of the student which would have been populated and you are supposed to create the new password for the admission portal before creating the password enter your date of birth and create the password password should have minimum 8 characters in it after entering the otp click on sign up if the otp is correct you will receive a message you have registered successfully to the admission portal click okay to continue click on the okay button dear students rani chennamma university has come up with an online admission portal where each of the students who are taking admission to the first semester in rcu that is rani chennamma university have been asked to submit their information that is updating the students information and making the payment of university fees on the online portal in this video i will go through the process wherein a student can how a student can update their information and pay the payments to the university through the online admission portal before we begin please go through the documents that are required in order to fulfill the online admission portal the first set of documents you need is in the jpeg format that is the photographs you need to have a clearly visible identity sized photo and the height of the photo and the width of the photo should be 2 inches and the maximum size allowed is 100 kp that means your identity sized photo cannot be more than 100 kb in size and it should be within 2 inches of height and width the second photograph is required of your signature the width and the height the width of the signature should be 
100 190 pixels and height should be 50 pixels the second set of documents are in the pdf format okay these each pdf format each files should be less than 1 mb in size you require the following documents first one sslc marks card second qualifying examination marks card that is puc or any equivalent examination third eligibility certificate and this is optional this eligibility certificate is for non karnataka cbcs and icsc students those who have written the puc exams in karnataka that is uh, pu board of Karna karnataka they don't require eligibility certificate fourth is aadhar card a scan copy of aadhar card fifth is caste certificate and the sixth is income certificate few of you might be having the fifth and sixth that is caste certificate and income certificate in a single certificate let us see how to get enrolled into the online admission portal and do the online payment once you registered with the rcu admission portal you need to sign in into your account in order to sign in you have to provide your registered mobile number and provide the password that you have set at the time of registration and click on login the url to access this particular site is university solutions dot in slash rcub slash adm slash index dot html once you browse through this particular url you will see the home page of the admission portal wherein you are supposed to enter your mobile number that is registered mobile number and the password that you have set at the time of registration click on login so once the login is successful it will take you through the online admission entry site okay at the bottom you will see a button by the name admission entry and payment click on admission entry and payment it will load a another page here few of the informations are added or edited by the college where you have taken the admission for example first one the college kls gupte college of commerce Badagavi. this has been added by the office persons in the gupte college degree is also populated combination is general that is also updated name of the student is also updated now you need to update the father's name and this father's name should be as per your sslc or 10th mass card so you need to have a 10th mass card or sslc mass card with you and the name the father's name as a, it is mentioned in that the same way you need to type it in this particular field for example father's name you type it as mahesh if it is a mahesh the way it has been written on your certificate type it like that and then the next field is mother's name here mother's name is also as per the sslc or the 10th mass key date of birth this will be auto updated by the office staff then religion will be hindu by default if you wish to modify the religion click on the religion drop down item and you may choose the respective religion there next is the gender select the gender as male female or transgender if you are physically disabled then click on this particular box or else leave it unclicked if you are only if you are physically disabled then only you click otherwise you leave it as a blank student type here you need to select uh, if you have studied from puc in karnataka or non karnataka or indian students who have passed the qualifying from the other countries or foreign students most of you will fall in the karnataka if you are studied outside karnataka then please select non karnataka if the students are from maharashtra 
and Goa, such in such cases, you please select it as a non-Karnataka. Otherwise, keep it to be a Karnataka. Then you need to provide your income certificate number. So the income certificate number, if you wish to attach, then that particular certificate number you are supposed to provide here. If not, if you are not, if you're not going to submit the income certificate, then you no need to provide this information. Suppose if you wish to provide, provide the income certificate number here. The same way, the caste certificate number, if you wish to provide, provide it. Then the blood group, select your blood group. According to that, if you don't know the what is your blood group, then you may choose it to be not known. If you know the blood group, then please select the appropriate blood group. Nationality will be most of you. It will be a Indian. Please select it as Indian. Then the category will be updated by the office staff. You no need to modify this particular value. Then in the next is the caste field. In the caste, you may enter your caste. Okay, as whatever caste you are upon. Say if it is a Brahmin, you enter it as a Brahmin. Then you type in your Aadhaar number. Then the next is rural or urban. If you belong to a urban or a city, you select it to be a urban. Or if you belong from a rural area, then you select it to be a rural. Then student email ID, you need to provide your student email ID for example, abc at xyz.com. This is for just for your reference. You need to provide your actual, the correct student email ID. Do not type in, do not make any mistakes while entering this particular field. The student mobile number will be already populated. You don't need to modify this one. Then parents mobile number, you are asked to in, update your parents mobile number. then annual family income okay it is not a mandatory to be updated if you wish to update annual fa uh, family income you are supposed to then medium so the medium will be english you have to type it as a english the next one is very important that is admission quota here it will give you two options one is the management and second one is university you are supposed to choose university Okay, remember that the admission quota should be university. Then the next set of information is your address. Okay, there are two types of address you are supposed to enter. One is the permanent address and second one is communication address. If communication address is same as the permanent address, then you are supposed to just enable this particular option. The permanent address you are supposed to enter the a complete address in three lines address line one address line two address line three say for example here you would be type would be mentioning as a uh, son of or a daughter of or a care of okay care of so and so say uh, xyz okay address line two could be house number okay uh, some numbers and if you wish to provide the street you provide the street name okay. then you you may type in your area say xyz area okay and you may mention the taluka where you stay in and in the next field here you provide the district okay for example Belagavi. then the enter the pin code of your address then Karnataka if it is not Karnataka you you are allowed to modify this particular field if this address is same as the communication address then you please select this one then that all these fields will be taken from this one if it is different then you may uncheck and type in the address so here I will choose it to be the same as the permanent address these are the basic information which you are going to provide. In the second section, you are going to choose the subjects for your first semester. Here, the first eight subjects are mandatory. There is, there is no change in the first eight subjects. You are allowed to choose the subject 9 and 10. 
subject 9 is for the language that is mil in this one you are supposed to choose only two options you have first option as kannada or second option as hindi if you want to if you wish to study a kannada as your language then you choose it as a kannada then subject code will be auto populated or if you wish to take a hindi subject then you choose, choose it to be hindi then in the serial number 10 you are supposed to choose one more subject this is depending upon the background where what you have studied in your puc2 or 10 plus 2 if you have studied if you are from science background then mandatorily you are supposed to choose financial accounting if you are from science background then please choose financial accounting only if you are from commerce background that is if you have studied commerce in puc then you are supposed to choose mathematics as the subject here this section is for the documents that you are supposed to upload the documents here are the first one is sslc mars card second is puc mars card or any equivalent examination third is transfer certificate you need not to update the transfer certificate this will be taken care by the office once you fill up the tc form third fourth one is eligibility certificate if you are from not puc board karnataka then you are supposed to upload eligibility certificate that is if you have studied your puc2 in maharashtra or goa or any other state other than the karnataka or within karnataka also if you would have studied in uh, cbcs or icsc then you are supposed to mandatorily upload eligibility certificate which has been taken from the rcu university the next is aadhar card caste certificate and income certificate all these documents should be less than 1 MB and should be in PDF format. Okay. In order to upload SSLC Mars card, choose the file Mars card, select the SSLC here and click on open. Once it is clicked on open, click on upload. It will take a while and get the document uploaded. You will see a file name over here the next is puc click on this choose file then out of this you choose the puc scan document click open and click on upload keep the transfer certificate blank you no need to update the transfer certificate eligibility certificate as i said if you belong to non karnataka section or if you are studied in cbcs or icsc then only you choose this one otherwise you can leave it empty then the next one is aadhar click on this and choose your aadhar card or pdf version then click open and then click on upload next is caste certificate the few of you might have a caste certificate and in income certificate of a same certificates that is uh, a single certificate can have the both the information like caste certificate and income certificate in such cases you are supposed to upload the same document two times once in the caste and other in the income certificate so caste and certificate select this and upload and choose the income certificate click on open and click on upload then the next section is you need to provide your previous academic details previous academic details in the sense the puc details where you have studied and the register number of so and so the first information is qualifying exam so if you have studied a puc you need to provide as puc2 okay puc then the register number this register number you will get to see from the mass card of puc2 the, the register number whatever is printed on the 
mask card that you type in over here then the board or the university name from where you have studied the puc2 if you are studied from the karnataka then it would be uh, pu board karnataka select the passing month and year in the first field you are supposed to choose the passing month i think it is going to be a july as the passing month and the year will be 2020 just see in your certificate puc certificate what is the passing month and year displayed over there written on the certificate you would see a date and from that particular date you choose the month and the year the maximum mass you have obtained you need to uh, maximum mass allotted for the particular examination that is going to be 600 as per your uh, examination if it is a 600 write it as a 600 or if it is some other value write that particular value and the secured marks how many marks you have secured suppose if you have secured 450 as the marks then you type in that particular 450 over there once you type on that click outside the percentage will get auto calculated the first field is maximum mass and the second one is the mass which you have secured then the next section is for the fee details here you no need to modify any of that then click on save once you furnish all the details click on the save button at the bottom of the page okay since i have not added the photos and signature it has prompted for the uh screen here let me go on the top and upload the photos click on the click to upload photo select the photo and see that the size of the photo is less than 100 kb kilobytes it is now 82 kilobytes select the photo and click on open it will get uploaded and then here i have just chosen a dummy file here for the demonstration and click to upload signature so as you see here the signature width should be 190 pixels and height should be 50 pixels click on that and select the signature and then click on open it will get auto uploaded if the size mentioned is not met then it will allow it will throw you an error message then you need to select the proper size and then upload for the demonstration purpose, I have chosen a dummy files over here. Once all the, de the details are furnished, go to the bottom section and click on save option. So once all the data are valid, if the validation is successful, you will see a message updated successfully. Your application will be submitted to college after payment. So the first part is done, that is updating the student's information. Click on OK. now once all the information is updated you are supposed to make the payments now here we can have two different sections a few students would have already paid the fees at the time of their admission and during that admission that time students would have paid the university fees such students need not to pay the payment on through the online portal if you have paid the university fees at the time of admission so do not pay it now those who are taking admission right now if you have not paid the payment for the uh, university you are supposed to furnish all the details and make the online payment in order to make the online payment click on the final payment 